It used to be that I thought that life was like a board game and you had to go through every square which was worth um, the same amount and kind of took the same amount of effort. And what I've since found out is life is more like chutes and ladders. Um, you can hit pockets that get you way farther ahead, which is momentum. You can hit pockets that get you way farther behind or make things go slower, which is resistance. So uh, the best analogy I have is a, is a rocket. A rocket has X thousands of gallons of fuel, right? That's your resource, that's your energy. And it has to go there and back on that tank of gas. So A, you have to know where there is, but that's a whole other conversation. B, you have to make it streamlined like a rocket ship, which is a whole other conversation. And you have to get enough propulsion um, to get it moving, which is another conversation. But the rocket, um, conventional so-called wisdom, would say that it would take half its fuel to get there and half its fuel to get back. When in actual fact, it takes half of that rocket's total fuel, half, to get past one mile of atmosphere, the first mile. So that's the power of resistance. That's kind of changing habits. That's it takes 21 days and a support group and reminders to get past one mile of atmosphere. So that's resistance. Momentum, on the other hand, is there and back on half a tank, there and back less one mile. When you have momentum working for you, you know it, you feel it. When things are happening more easily than you thought that they should, um, that's, that's momentum. Resistance is when things are, are harder than they should be, when you're pushing water uphill, when things are um, just hard. Uh, so you avoid that, duh, um, and you go toward the, the delicious stuff, the fun stuff, the easy stuff, um, the thing that makes your heart sing, the reason you get out of bed in the morning and you know it, um, we often just think it's impossible, and I hear that all the time, it's impossible um, to go do that, and it's, it's not impossible. It is so rarely impossible, I can't even give you an example of what was impossible. It's inconvenient, um, and I'll give you that, um, but you know, again, you turn a couple of those little dials, and all of a sudden, um, life's golden. So when you have a sense of flow, when you have a sense of momentum, when things are coming easily, when you're enjoying the process, um, that's when you know you're in it. Um, and that can happen on a personal level, it can happen on a company level.